Everybody that goes through trauma goes through what's called the arousal cycle. Arousal energizes our survival responses. So if you can imagine standing on top of a cliff and looking down, um, you know, a couple hundred feet and there's jagged rocks down below, just put yourself in that spot and imagine how you feel. Do you feel aroused? Do you feel scared? Do you get like a, a pit in your stomach? These are all things that can come when we become aroused in situations like that. And so your typical arousal cycle has four steps in it where uh, you, you'll feel challenged or threatened, then you are aroused, and then three, your arousal peaks from the cha your arousal peaks, and then you face the challenge or the threat, and then your arousal is brought down, and that that's the the cycle. Those that are traumatized, they have a deep mistrust of that cycle, and, and for good reason. It's typically their traumatic experience has been when they think about that experience, it's been coupled with overwhelming experience of fear, and so they avoid completion of that cycle, and so they remain stuck in their fear and are unable to are, are unable to overcome it. One good thing to teach those that have been traumatized or families that are, are going through this is the basic principle that what goes up must come down. Uh, to trust the arousal cycle, to let your feelings ebb and flow and when that happens healing can begin. Uh, I had one client that in sessions with her when we would start to talk about her trauma or even if we weren't talking about her trauma if we were just talking about anything that started to provoke anxiety she would hide in the corner of my office would curl up in a ball would cover her face with her hair and then put, she ha wore a jacket and would put the hood up before we couldn't even continue until I had to coax her that she was capable, that she could overcome her anxiety, that I acknowledged the feelings and validated the feelings that she was feeling. And then with some coaxing, I would have her come and sit back in the chair, sit up straight, take some deep breaths, remove the hood, remove the hair, and uncurl herself, and just sit in that moment and let her realize that that anxiety, even though it comes up, it also goes down. And it took several sessions where I had to do this repeatedly and it got to a point where we didn't have to do that anymore and she was realizing and acknowledging the thoughts and sensations that came through the arousal cycle and letting them peak then diminish and then dissolve and so anybody who's going through trauma uh, just being able to understand the arousal cycle and to to not shut down when they get to that um, uh, that that arousal period, to just let themselves go up and and let themselves come down naturally, and that takes a process, it takes practice, but it's that's how the healing begins. Mm -hmm.